Good morning, Kathy here from Kathy's Cute Creations. I just wanted to say a few things between videos. So the first thing I want to say is that I'm trying to find somebody that I have lost track of. She moved, and after she moved, we communicated like one time, and that was it. So I am trying to find her. Her name is Dawn. Last name is Maple. And her husband's name is Tom. They used to live in Missouri. If anybody out there knows of this couple, would you please message me? Let me give you a little information. She used to work at the Ben Franklin. That is now called um, Harbor Freight, from what I understand. It changed hands. She and her husband both worked there. She taught classes. She taught classes at Joann's. I took a few of her classes. Um, let's see. She tried to get me to write a book with her. This is before I moved and she moved, and I wasn't ready for it. I sure wished I had been ready because now I wish I would have done it. But anyway, if anybody knows about her or knows her whereabouts or anything, would you message me so that I can get in contact with her? Thank you. I appreciate it. The second thing I want to talk to you is about Pat Sloan. So I am following her Wednesday blocks. She does different blocks at different times. This block is called Main Street. She has three of them out so far. They are free on her website. They come out once a week on Wednesday. Now, you don't have to remember that they come out on Wednesday. What you do is you go to her website, and when you go to that specific block, Main Street, there's a place to put your email address in, and then she will email you when the block is ready so that you don't even have to remember it. Every time she does a block, you can actually put your email in for that specific block and your email will come for that block only. So that's, it's not a email constantly where you get them all in your mailbox and everything. It's specifically for that block that's come out. Second, I want to say that if on her block, if there's any specific part of the block that you can't do, I will help you with it. But I will not be teaching how to do her blocks. All right, these are her blocks. So I cannot teach you how to make them. I can show you how to make a specific thing in the block if it's having a problem. For example, let's say that you're not good with half square triangles. You don't even really want to do any blocks with half square triangles because you still have not figured it out. Well, let me tell you how I do my half square triangles. Now, if I don't use the paper, which is what you can use, that's one way to do it. But let's say that your half square triangle needs to be two and a half inches when it's finished before you're putting it into your block. What I do is I take a two pieces of fabric that are one inch bigger, so they're gonna be three and a half inches, because two and a half is when it's finished, three and a half is when it's not. I sew them together, I cut them like you're supposed to, I take them to the ironing board, I open them up, and then is when I trim them. I use a ruler like this, right here. This is the kind of ruler I use. This goes up to six inches. And then it's really simple, easy. That's the easiest way I have found to make a half square triangle. And it works with any size. If it's a six inch finished half square triangle, then I use seven inch fabric. Okay, so if you want me to show you that, let me know. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about is um, her website. So it's hard to maneuver in her website if you're new to looking at websites. What you got to keep in mind is that when you open up her website, up at the top, she's got a whole bunch of different things going on. And when you see Main Street, you click on it. Then that page opens up. It's got different things that are highlighted. It's got advertisement. It tells you the fabric that she's using for the square. It's got all kinds of information. When you scroll down towards the bottom, then it's highlighted. It's either highlighted in pink or yellow. I cannot remember. And that's where it says to download the uh, pattern. And you click on it, it takes you now to another page, which is nothing but the pattern on it, where you can print it out. Okay? That was what I was going to say about that. There's one more thing I was going to say. I forgot to put the address here for Pat. There's Pat's address if you wanted to check out the uh, blocks that she gives out free. It's ilovetomakequilts.com. Sorry, I forgot about that. I just took looked down here at my piece of paper and saw it. I joined a mystery quilt block that's called What's in the Box Mystery Quilt 2019. 
It is from the Gourmet Quilter. If anybody knows anything about the Gourmet Quilter, I believe she is in New Zealand. And I've never had one of her mystery boxes before. But you cannot show anything to anybody online until she says to let you do it. This is what it looks like. Now, this is closed because what she does, <clears throat> and if you're even interested, then I would suggest you get on her website and click to be notified so that when she has notifications come out about her uh, web page or anything else, that you'll get it. She does not send out something every week, so your mailbox won't be full of emails from her. This came out, this uh, offer come out, and it was to get to sign up for it by the end of May. Once the end of May came, that was it. She shut it down. You cannot do it. She told me the two different fabrics. For example, the, um, she's doing two of them. So she did one in, I think it's India Batiks from the Me and You division of Hoffman. And then she did Hoffman Watercolor Bali Batiks. And then she told the number for this, the um, fabric. So she gave us, this is what came on a page like that. And then you get your colors. And this reminded me of the murder mystery that I'm doing. That's the colors come out just like that. Now, I did not go out. I didn't buy any fabric. And I've never done a mystery with her, so I have no clue what it's going to look like. Okay? But what she did was she said that she was going to send everybody a box out in June. So my box came in June. This is what it looks like. Came like that. And then, let me open it up, and I'm going to show you. And I'm going to bring you down here to show you. I opened it. This is what it looks like. Hope I can get that glare off. There we go. So you get this little thing here. There's the back of it. welcome that's her logo right there and that's by the way her website that's her email address and then this was the papers like I have that I just showed you with the colors and everything in case you didn't download it and then this came so this was tied around this little thing here was tied around the fat quarter which had this stuff in it, which I took out. So it's a button. And then this little thing here, which has, let's see what does it have in it. Get it out. Has this little right here, which is a mirror. Pretty neat. Take that aside. And then this came, so I'm going to guess it's. This is on, must be on part of the, one of the blocks. Let's see? And here's another one. Looks like a potato, doesn't it? A funny shaped potato. And then, and if you get on her website, she did a quilt that looks like this. And it's a postcard. That's all that is. And then here is our little label, which will be on it. This was the fat quarter that all that was wrapped in. She had it wrapped with that string. And then this box here says, top secret, do not open until instructed. So that has stuff in it and that is sewn down. So that's the way her box came. Oh, and it did have some candy. It had um, Hawaiian humps, I believe it was called. And it was like a marshmallow. Um, it had chocolate, marshmallow, and pineapple flavor. It was really, really good. So this is all we got for this. And we haven't gotten any instructions yet to do anything with this. 
So let me go back and tell you about the blocks with Pat because I want to talk to about um, this white fabric. So let me show you here. Here the is the first block. If you haven't been on the Facebook or my Instagram, this is the first block. And this one is called Five and Dime. This is the second one. It's called the Post Office. And that's the third one, which is the movie theater. So she's got three of them going here. So I've got the first three done. And then the white fabric that I've used on here, it's not out of the um, general store fabric, which is what I'm using for these blocks. It's not that. Let me push this aside and I'm going to show you what it is. So I bought this. These are half half yard bundle at the fat quarter shop and it's called white blossom and I thought these looked pretty neat because they have all different colors. so it's got the white with the red and then it's got all the different colors there it's got black this is a blue actually Let me get a little closer so you can see it this is red green gray, a yellowish gold sort of, you see a little bit of glitter on it, a gray with a little bit of glitter, a red, well this is more of a pinkish color, this is more of a um, aqua, and then this, I'm not quite sure what color that is, it must be, I don't know if that's sort of like a copper color, but anyway that's what I'm using for this here this color here the one in this block is just a little bit lighter same principle there this one's the one on the first one i showed you was darker than this one put it up against it so see how the one on the right is lighter and this one's darker i thought that would look better than just the plain white which came in that bundle so that's all i wanted to say today thank you for watching and my next uh, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is going to be my haul. Here's my haul of stash here that I haven't had a chance. This right here was all the stuff um, with the last stuff. Now keep in mind that some of this stuff that's over here, this is going to be given away to my subscribers. I didn't buy all that just for me because some of it I just really liked and I thought, well, I don't, I'm not interested in it, but that doesn't mean that the subscribers aren't interested in some of that stuff. So that's why I got that. And let's see, what else was I going to say? I guess that is it. I can't think of anything else. So thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.